Hey you guys, this is the Wii Man, and now I'm going to show you how to make a backup of your Wii when you have Boot Me as Boot 2. Use the power button for going right. Use your reset button as enter. Now you go to settings and you go to the green little thingy. And once you're on the green, you press the reset button for enter. I'm not going to do it now because it takes too long. And if your weed bricks, you go here, which puts it back in. And then that's it. You unbrick your weed, which is nice. Now well, let's get out of here before I do something retarded. Let's go to Wii Menu. No, let's go to Homebrew. That's where you do all the hacking. Right, right. Now, I'm going to show you how to install WAD. You're going to have WAD installer. Now, WAD are system menus. I mean, system channels, like disk channel or game as WAD. Like, where is this? WAD. WAD manager. So, wait. Go to WAD manager. If you agree to press A, yes. You press A, and you go to iOS 30. We set the slot, yes, right there. Yeah, press X. Now you have iOS 249Y. Well, it depends on some things. Like, I can install a wand right here. Neo Gamma, which is the channel. So basically, these are Wii channels. Or, okay. When you install the wands, so you can play back of Wii games on the Wii disc channel, you want to have your SD card slot wherever the WADs are detected. You want every single WAD out or back them up somewhere in your computer. Um, then you put them back in the WAD folder or wherever you get the... There is a WAD folder, by the way. You put them in the WAD folder and you delete and you not delete but you install every single one there's like 27 or something but what that does is it tells your Wii hey you are going to play copied games whether you like it or not so this is installing wands I showed you how to install iOS so you'll be able to play copied games that's all DVDX my Wii unfortunately will not install because I did some mod a lot of modifications to it um so that's about it you yeah, guys that's that's how you really hack it. That's how you do it. It's not that hard. It's not asking you to add fish plus fish. These, I don't even know. I don't even mess with those. Are, these right here, this does auto automatically for you, I guess. Um, boot me configuration. What you do here is, um, right there um homebrew channel yes not we well not off but uh homebrew channel delay seconds that means like if you if you don't respond within five seconds it goes to homebrew or we menu so i have it at 10. you hit save settings and all that good stuff updated successfully now to change the we theme Exit the system menu. Here is my Wii theme right now. Currently, Supersonic. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's a quick tutorial Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah, copy. No, it's from Sony. Put it in. Here is my Wii you know, Supersonic. Here is the disc channel. See, it says disc channel. No hurry up switching over to Neo Gamma. There it is. It's loading. Super Mario Galaxy. And you press start and all that hoopla and you play the game. And these are wads, like I got Sonic the Hedgehog wad. All the all the wads I have in here are gonna be in the description 
So these are empty blank channels. I uh, move the disk channel. It's pretty cool. See, I can move it anywhere I want, which is good. That's it, you guys. That's that's all. Just about. But uh, to show you my menu five GUI, how to put that stuff in. I'm not going to make a video of how to make all that stuff, sorry, I'm not that into it because there's always a high risk of bricking your Wii. So that's why you always want to have boot me in. When you do something very, very risky to your Wii, you always want to have boot me or at least preloader. I do not have preloader because I think boot me is better. Preloader is kind of gay. Still have yet to figure out GameCube launcher, but I am not worried about that right now. I'll find it somewhere on YouTube. Now you go to what was I talk what was I talking about? I was talking about what what was I talking about? Oh yeah. Custom system menu. My menu five G U I. Yes, that is going to be in the description. Everything that is going to be in the apps folder of what you need. Okay, now you'll see this. Like, let's say I want the dark Wii theme. If my Wii remote ever... Okay, there we go. Alright, let's go down to dark Wii theme. Dark Wii theme. CSM stands for Custom System Menu. This will let you know if it is not a custom system menu. Hit OK. Yes. It freezes, but don't wig out. It's done. Okay. You hit Continue exit, all that hoopla. Let me, t let me turn off my Wii so you'll get a better idea of what happens. Remember how Supersonic would come up? Yeah, guess what? Watch this. I uh, took my SD card out, which unenabled. Una See? Dark Wii. It's all dark. That's how you do it. It's nice. But, uh, yeah. Alright. See, another, to show you, it is the disc channel. See? And we'll put Super Mario back in. Load. This does It does with the GameCube too, but it's, I still have yet to figure. See, watch it. Uh, look at that. Super Mario Galaxy. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy hacking. Description link. Everything you need. Right over there. Like right there. Right there. Just you see it. Well, you don't. What you do is you press more info. Still don't see it? Then you're blind!